Creating a continuous capsule rexus in an intumescent cataract is always a challenge because of the raised intralenticular pressure caused by the liquefied cortex. Intumescent lens runs the risk of rapid tear to the lens equator, developing once anterior capsule is opened despite OVD in anterior chamber. In intumescent cataract, there are two pressurized intralenticular compartments, anterior and posterior. Even after aspiration of intralenticular fluid from the anterior compartment, capsular rexus extension may occur because of increased posterior intralenticular pressure, which pushes the lens upwards. During capsular rexus, you have to change the vector force from pulling the anterior capsule to lifting a capsular flap. Femto laser assisted cataract surgery and Zepto are other techniques of creating continuous capsular rexus in intumescent cataracts. The time has come. We present hold the door technique for a successful continuous rexus. This is my technique which is cost effective and has given me 100% success. In advanced endomycin cataract that patients in our part of the world present with. After construction of the main incision, the anterior chamber is filled with adequate OVD. Utrata forceps is used to pinch and lift a flap of the anterior capsule. You can appreciate the technique in slow motion also. This technique does not require surgeons to acquire any additional skill or equipment. It is simple and reproducible. Start with the regular main FACO incision as always. Fill the anterior chamber adequately with OVD. It is important not to overfill the anterior chamber in this technique as you need space for the liquefied cortex to regress out of the anterior chamber. In this technique, I use Utrata's forceps. Cystitome cannot be used. With the Utrata's forceps, pitch the center of the capsule, raise the flap and evert it. I do not usually use the die. The movement in this case should be a light lifting movement in three dimensional space, not using the nucleus as a support as you would do while using a cystitone. This technique allows controlled capsular rexes in eyes with raised intralenticular pressure. Once the flap is lifted and everted on unopened capsule, the rexus will not extend peripherally as the forces of opening are not directed equatorially. In the next case, the moment the anterior capsule is pinched and flap lifted, there is liquefied cortex that oozes out. Because of the flap, the liquefied cortex comes out in a controlled flow. With gentle maneuvering, liquefied cortex 
is gradually replaced with viscoelastic. The capsule flap is again lifted and with the uterus forceps, continuous rexus is completed. As and when the liquefied cortex protrudes the view of continuing rexus, one needs to refill with the OVD to disperse the liquefied cortex out of view and what I do to enable this is to do a gentle decompression also. This technique enables a safe continuous curvilinear capsular excess, making these challenges seem routine without any extra procedure or expense. The key to managing capsular excess in intumescent cataract is to keep a balance of pressure gradient and to raise a flap in the capsule and leave it inverted to allow the egress of liquefied cortex from the capsular bag and out of the anterior chamber, just like you would hold a door and prevent it from opening up, the force being raised intra-lenticular pressure.